this video, we will be doing the instructions on how to perform a C-spine exam. We will be going through the AP, open mouth, and lateral projections, three projections for this. So I'm going to start with uh, Ms. Skaggs as my patient here. I will have her with her back up against the board and we'll do the AP and open mouth um, first. So of course we're going to put a shield on her. And we'll be using a 10 by 12 uh, IR for all three of these. I'm going to grab that and go ahead and stick it in the bucky with the orange sticker facing down. You'll have to use your little lever here and put that in at the 12. When you are prepping your patient for this exam, you'll be wanting to have them take off any earrings, eyeglasses, necklaces, um, even hair, hair ties, um, hair pins, and anything that might show up right behind their um, C1 on the open mouth. So those are the things you'll have to look out for. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the open mouth because it's a little bit different. Um, it's at a different SID. So we're gonna be in detent here at 40. And then I'm gonna raise my light up. I'm just gonna get it in the ballpark here first and then later I'll adjust it. But I'm gonna first kind of collimate down so I don't blind her when I raise this up. And I usually put the centering point right, at, uh, right below the mouth or right at the mouth there to start. And then I'll raise this behind me. All right, now that I'm kind of in the ballpark, I'm gonna start positioning. So for this projection, we are gonna have their mouth open. I usually just have them open their mouth comfortably at first, so that way they're not stressing their uh, jaw throughout the entire exam. So just kind of have them open their mouth a little bit first. You're gonna look at the um, lower line of their molars and all of their teeth and their incisors. And then I'm gonna come back here and find the mastoid process. It's right behind the ear, and it just kind of is a bony uh, projection uh, there. So look for that, and then I'm gonna look for her incisor, and then I'm gonna kind of raise or lower her head to make sure that those things end up parallel with the floor and in a horizontal orientation together. So I'm gonna lower her down just a little bit right there. And that actually looks pretty good with my centering because I'm right through her mouth there. I'm gonna add a marker. I'm gonna, you can mark either side, right or left. I'm just gonna mark um, her right side out of convenience of it being on this side for me. I'm gonna scoot her so that this line is right down her nose. And then now that I've got her here where I want her, I'm gonna tell her to open her mouth as wide as she can and I'm gonna to try to keep that orientation correct. Then I'll walk back, set 85 kbp and expose. Then they can relax. That's a difficult position for them to hold. So you want to really try to wait till the last minute. Otherwise they will move their head on you and kind of adjust themselves out of comfort's sake. So you should usually wait on that. Now for the next two, I'm gonna back on up to 72 SID. Again, trying not to blind my patient here. All right, and I'm just gonna start with the AP projection since her back is already up against the board, that means she doesn't have to move. I'm gonna angle my tube up 15 degrees here. Hopefully it'll stay for me. All right. Now I'm gonna lower my tube down and I'm going to kind of get it in the ballpark again. I'm looking for her Adam's apple or C4. And that's where I'm going to center. Now this worked out that I'm still pretty well lined up to my IR. Um, again, with an angle like this, we are looking to see that we're lined up with our cassette, um, not necessarily our um, actual Bucky. So that a little bit so you can see better. I'm looking at the IR here to make sure that my central ray is in the middle of that. All right, so I'm lined up here, so I'm gonna scoot her over just a little bit so that my central ray is right down the midline of her body. I'm leaving my right marker here. I'm gonna collimate down a little bit closer to her side to side. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is position her head because once again, 
patients can kind of wobble on you and move. So we want to do that at the very end. And I'm going to have her raise her chin up here. Very good. And once again, this is the same 85 kVp technique that we'll set. And I typically have them do an expiration, but honestly, they just need to suspend their breathing and you can expose. And the last projection is a lateral. So I'm gonna have her turn to the left with her left shoulder up against the board. Now this time I have to use my left marker. So I'm gonna take this right one off before I forget. Also, I'm gonna take the um, angle off of my tube and we'll be horizontal. We're staying at 72 SID. Now for this one, it's the same centering. I'm looking right to the middle of her neck where her Adam's apple is, C4. I'm gonna slide her shield around on her. Now, the best way to know how to collimate top to bottom is I'm gonna look at her ear here. I want light just to the top of her ear and a little bit on her shoulder as well. So I'm gonna collimate a little bit top to bottom because I don't need quite as much as I've got. Good, and I'm gonna lower my Bucky down to line up. All right. And then she's got a pretty thin neck, so I can kind of collimate inside to side as well, making sure I don't flip the C7 process back here. I'm gonna scoot her forward slightly, so I'm right down the middle of her neck. And then I'm gonna have her raise her chin up. I'm gonna mark out here in front with my left marker. I'm gonna make sure she's really nice and lateral. This is very important for this one. And typically, I also, just to make sure I'm not in the way of C1, I have my patient give me an underbite if they're able to. So they bring their lower teeth out in front of their upper teeth, and that will pull their mandible away from C1, as well as kind of leaning them back. You also want to make sure their head isn't tilted towards the IR or tilted away, nice and straight here with their chin up. And then you want them to really relax their shoulders down. Sometimes I go like that to kind of give them the emphasis to do it. I'll set my technique once again at 85 kV kVp, and I will have them blow all their air out, relax their shoulders down, and expose. Very good. And that's the three projections we will do for C-spine.